Hi, this is Richard Duffy. I am the product evangelist here at Acumatica, and I'd like to welcome you to another one of our tech tip sessions. One of the things I like to do when I build these tech tips is we look to the kinds of questions that we get on a fairly regular basis from people, and we like to then, or I like to then build the tech tips that answer those questions. Um, so that way I figure if I get the same question from three or four people, then there's probably another 30 or 40 people out there who might have a similar question, and then I'll build a tech tip. So the tech tip that I wanna focus on today is around using generic inquiries. Now, some of you may be familiar with the whole process around generic inquiries, but I thought I'd just cover some of the simple stuff because oftentimes, you know, it's the simple stuff that, that helps you make a start with this. Once you understand how to do something that's very, very simple, you can then move on to something a little bit more complex. So one of the folks in our organization uh, came to me the other day and said, well, Richard, you know, what I want to do is I just want to get a list out of Acumatica of all of the countries uh, that are in the system and I want to be able to um, take that and use that in Excel. So how would I do that? And so that's what I'm going to use as the specific example for this tech tip. So where do you need to go to build a generic inquiry? Well, you would normally go here into, um, into your uh, system and then you would go here into customization because a generic inquiry is uh, fundamentally a customization. Now, if you're watching this and, and you can't see the generic inquiry option here, just double check with your system administrator. Make sure they haven't moved it to another area and make sure you actually have the right to access that functionality because as you know with Acumatica, it's very easy to customize these screens and, and adapt them to your requirements. So if you don't see it exactly the same way that you're seeing it here, then uh, check with your system administrator and double check what they've done. So you go ahead and you select generic inquiry. So obviously the very first screen you get um, gives you the ability to come in here and look up an existing generic inquiry, or you can go ahead and start creating a brand new one. All right, so in order for me to create a new generic inquiry, then I'll go here and I'll say add a new record, and then I'll give the inquiry a title. So in this particular instance, what I wanna do is just generate a simple country list. So I'll go in here and say country list, and I can specify if I want to select, you know, like the top 10 records or, or you know, arrange my pr parameters, and we'll talk about parameters in a second, into different columns, uh, show how many results per page. Um, then I can also specify whereabouts on my site map do I want to put this generic inquiry and what do I want to call it on the site map. So remember, the site map is effectively the menuing structure that you see here and across the top. So it's a combination of these things uh, which gives you your site map. And because Acumatica is a web-based application, uh, we use similar terminology to what you'd be familiar with if you're building a website, for example. Your site map in a website uh, is basically a, a, a quick overview of how the website is arranged. So same scenario with Acumatica. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create my, my view first or my generic inquiry first, and then I'm gonna publish it onto my site map. So first thing I need to do is I need to specify, well, which of the underlying tables in Acumatica contain the information that I'm looking for? So I go down here into my table area and I click on the plus sign to add a row. And what that will do is that then adds a row down here in the tables. So now, you're going to need, if you might, this one that I'm going to do right now is very, very simple, just a single table. But obviously, some of these generic inquiries might pull data from multiple tables. So again, uh, you can make it as simple or as complex as you want, uh, and you can build the relationships between those tables if you're using multiple tables. But right now, I'm just going to do a simple, uh, simple one. So you can see you've got the technical name of the table, uh, over here in the full name column, but you've also got the name. Uh, so one of the things I like to do is I always like to sort on the basis of the name and, and then utilize this name to find what I'm looking for. So our guys in development are fairly, uh, fairly 
uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I was going to say simple, but uh, I didn't want to offend anybody from a development perspective, but they think simply. They like to keep things as simple as possible. So you would think, well, what am I going to name a table that contains all the country information? Well, there's a good chance I'm going to put the word country in there somewhere. So if I start searching, okay, and start typing the word country, you can see, well, funnily enough, that's exactly what the table's called. So I'm going to select that table. Now I can give it an alias as well if I want. So I can go in here and I can say, well, that's going to be called my country table or just country again. Uh, and that's it. So then I'll go across here. I can select relations. Now remember, I've only got one table. So I don't need to build any relations between this table and anything else. I can then go across to my parameters. And in the parameters area, I can put you know, additional parameters in here when I'm going through and selecting the records that, that I want to have in my generic inquiry. And then I can also specify conditions. So I can, you know, this is where I can really get down to start building some detailed, you know, SQL-like queries. Same thing here with your grouping and your sort order. So then the next thing you want to do is you want to say, okay, well, what do I want to get in the results grid? So this is, uh, this is where I specify, well, which fields in that table do I want to have? So I'll choose add row. Again, it asks me to select my object because remember I could have multiple, uh, multiple objects here and I'll just want to specify these specific fields from this object, these specific fields from a different object. So right now I'm pulling it from my country table. What's the data field that I want? Well, I just wanted to see the country ID and then I want to map that across um, to my schema field as well if I want to. So I can choose that that is the schema field. Now I can also specify a, a fixed width in pixels when this gets um, rendered onto my generic inquiry results grid or I can just leave that and, uh, and have it default. So then I want to add another field. So again, it's going to come from the, from the country table. And this time, I'm going to look through and say, well, what else do I want to see? And you can see all of the underlying uh, fields that are available for me. Well, in this particular instance, all I want is just the, the description field. OK, so I'll select that. And the schema field for that is my country description. And so that's fundamentally it. I can just go ahead now and click on Save. And now when I click here on View Inquiry, what do you see? Well, you see a list of all of the countries. Now the great thing that Acumatica has done is it automatically builds this link down to the underlying table information. So I can click on that field and you can see it brings up the data entry screen where I create the entries in this particular table. All right, so I can see you know, the, the country and then if there are additional states underneath that, I can go ahead and see that information as well. So what I've decided I want to do is I want to take this, um, this generic inquiry and I want to publish it up under organization and organization structure. So this is my organization structure and you can see I've got the manage and configure options here. So go across here, I specify from my pick list that I want to put this in my organization structure. Then I want to put it in the work area. And then do I want to put it under manage or configure? Well, I want to put it under manage. So I'll select manage. And you can see this is where I've got all of my other information. And so that's now fine. I'm going to put that in that particular location under manage. And then when I hit save, and I go back into organization, into organization structure. There you have it. There is my country listing. So with one click, I now get all of those countries. So that's a quick example of how you can use a generic inquiry. Very, very simple, but oftentimes uh, the simple places, as I said when I started, are a great place to start. So hopefully that's, uh, that you found that of value. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you how to publish that out to Microsoft Excel. Also, how to let, we'll take that standard generic inquiry and we're going to publish that out as a web service and we're going to then connect to that web service through a couple of different applications. So stay tuned for that next uh, tech tip. Thanks very much.
Oh, and by the way, uh, if you do have any hints, uh, any questions, any tech tips that you would like me to record, please feel free to reach out to me. My email address is rduffy at acumatica.com. I'll be more than happy to share that information uh, and, and build those tech tip sessions for you. Thanks very much.